In a cyclone of laughter, tears, and epic adventures, the best anime for winter of 2024 takes center stage for today's video. This list has everything from anime with spellbinding narratives, unforgettable characters, and jaw-dropping animation. Proving it's not just a show, it's an unforgettable journey that leaves all other contenders in its animated dust. So without further delay, let's begin. So to start off today's list is Chained Soldier. This enemy is basically a fully determined marching penguin in a suit of armor, armed with jokes and a storyline that's more tangled than earphones in a pocket. Meet our protagonist, who's so good at getting into trouble that even the military brass are taking notes. In this military comedy, our hero is assigned the illustrious task of guarding the base's secret weapon, the coffee machine. Yes, you heard right. The plot unfolds like a tactical game of hide and seek with the main character stumbling through secret operations like a caffeinated ninja. The show's humor is sharper than a sergeant's glare with witty banter and ridiculous situations that'll have you wondering if the military could benefit from stand-up classes. This anime turns military life on its head, proving that even in the most disciplined environments, laughter is the best weapon. If you're ready for a comedy that hits harder than boot camp drills, Change Soldier is your hilarious frontline to anime amusement. Next we have The Witch and the Beast. Now if you think this is a ripoff of Beauty and the Beast, then you are wrong. This anime brews up a magical tale where our anti-hero is a beast hunter on a mission to slay magical creatures. Now enter a witch, with a penchant for turning the main character's life into a cauldron of chaos. It's like a supernatural buddy cop drama, but with more spells and fewer donut breaks. In this anime, the plot thickens faster than a witch's brew as the main duo navigates a world where magical creatures are more common than Monday morning grumbles. The show's humor is as enchanting as the witch's spells, and the main character's attempts at maintaining order are as futile as trying to organize a wizard's sock drawer. The show seamlessly blends supernatural elements with a comedic chaos, proving that laughter is the best spell of all. If you're ready for a bewitching blend of laughter and magic, The Witch and the Beast is your spellbinding ticket to a fantastic time. Then we have Hokkaido Gals are super adorable. This anime introduces us to the charming world of Hokkaido, where our protagonists, the Gal Trio, embark on adventures more heartwarming than a bear hug from a fluffy snowman. The plot follows their misadventures as they navigate life in Hokkaido, blending comedy, friendship, and a sprinkle of eccentric charm. In this anime, the gals are just so adorable. Even the penguins at Hokkaido Zoo are taking notes on style. From conquering snowy landscapes to mastering the art of staying fabulous in freezing temperatures, these gals redefine winter fashion like pros. This anime is a delightful mix of slice of life and adorable chaos, proving that charm is the ultimate superpower. The humor is as infectious as a snowball fight, and the show's ability to turn everyday moments into adorable escapades makes it a standout in the genre. If you're ready for a winter wonderland filled with giggles and gal power, Hokkaido Gals Are Super Adorable is the anime just for you. Up next, we got The Unwanted Undead Adventurer. This one turns the fantasy genre on its head, starring our hero who accidentally becomes a zombie while dungeon crawling, now he's the unluckiest member of the undead, facing monsters and prejudice with the enthusiasm of a snail on a salt trail. In this anime, the main character's unlife is a hilarious mix of battling monsters, trying to regain his humanity, and dealing with the fact that his wardrobe choices are limited to tattered dungeon attire. It's like watching a zombie apocalypse where the only brains getting eaten are the ones still figuring out the plot. This anime combines fantasy adventure with undead comedy, proving that even zombies can have a sense of humor. The show's humor is as infectious as the main character's condition, and the absurdity of his situation keeps you laughing harder than a necromancer at a magic show. If you want a fantasy anime that's dead serious about making you laugh, the unwanted undead adventure is a graveyard smash. Then we have Sasaki and Peeps, a show that introduces us to the so-called duo, Sasaki and an ordinary salaryman, and Peeps, an extraterrestrial bird. When Sasaki accidentally steps on Peeps, they form an unlikely bond that defies gravity. Literally. Together they embark on misadventures that make road trips with your GPS sound like a breeze. The plot hilariously unfolds as Sasaki navigates life with his newfound feathered friend, who seems more interested in abducting snacks than in intergalactic diplomacy. This show blends everyday life with absurdity, proving that even in the mundane, you can find the extraordinary. 
The humor is as unpredictable as Peep's flight pattern and the show's charm lies in its ability to turn the ordinary into the extraordinary. If you want an anime that's as quirky as it is heartwarming, Sasaki and Peeps is the interstellar comedy you never knew you needed. Welcoming us to our next spot is Delicious in Dungeon, an anime that serves up a buffet of hilarity in a fantasy world where our heroes turn monster slaying into a culinary adventure. Now picture this with me. A band of adventurers, low on funds, decides to save on their grocery bill by cooking monsters they encounter in a dungeon. It's like a fantasy cooking show where the secret ingredient is peril. The plot revolves around this culinary escapade as our quirky team navigates through dungeons and debates the best way to prepare a gelatinous cube. Forget fire-breathing dragons here, the real challenge is figuring out which seasoning goes best with Goblin. The show is a delicious blend of fantasy, comedy, and culinary madness. This anime combines the thrill of monster hunting with the art of gourmet cooking, proving that a well-cooked wyvern steak is the key to any adventurer's heart. If you want your fantasy with a side of laughs and a sprinkle of seasoning, this anime is a feast for your funny bone. Next, we have Tsukimichi Moonlit Fantasy Season 2. This show continues the misadventures of the main character, the guy who got isekai'd so hard that even the fantasy world was like, whoa, dude! This time, our hero is stuck between diplomatic drama and fighting monsters, and he's handling it with the grace of a cat trying to swim. The plot unfolds like a fantasy soap opera with Makoto as the unwitting lead actor. This season is a roller coaster of epic battles, awkward encounters, and the main character is wondering why the fantasy world couldn't come with an instruction manual. The show is a comedy goldmine with the main character's reactions to fantasy tropes making us laugh harder than a dragon who discovered stand-up comedy. It's the best in its genre because it takes the isekai formula, shakes it like a soda can, and then opens it just to see what hilarity explodes. If you want your fantasy with a sight of face palms and belly laughs, Tsukimichi Moonlit Fantasy Season 2 is your enchanted ticket to comedic bliss. And after that, we have the seventh time loop, the villainous enjoys a carefree life. Wait a minute, let me take a break. <sighs> okay, once again. Seventh time loop, the villainous enjoys a carefree life married to her worst enemy. <sighs> yeah, next time just write a freaking essay in the title, would you? Anyways, this anime takes the overdone time loop trope and turns it into a comedic masterpiece. Meet our protagonist, who's stuck in a Groundhog Day loop where her fate is to be the villainous. But wait. She decides being the villain is too mainstream nowadays, so she embraces her dark side with a side of humor. In this anime, the main character loops through her villainous life, but instead of causing chaos, she's on a quest to marry her arch nemesis. It's like watching a rom-com set in a medieval soap opera where the punchlines are as sharp as the swords. This is probably the only show where the villainess doesn't just break the fourth wall. She invites it over for a cup of tea. The humor is as timelessly entertaining as the main character's loop, proving that laughter is the ultimate time-traveling companion. If you want a blend of romance, comedy, and time-loop shenanigans, this anime is your ticket to a hilariously villainous ride. Next, we got Mashal Season 2. So, this show continues its magical journey where our broom-riding, spell-slinging hero Mash faces challenges more daunting than a pop quiz in advanced calculus. It's a world where magic is the ultimate cheat code. Mash is the guy who brought a sword to a wand fight, and he's winning! This season, Mash finds himself in even weirder situations, like trying to make a magical sandwich or attempting to cast a spell without the manual. It's like watching a superhero try to adult, and we can't get enough of it. The show's comedic timing is sharper than Mash's wit, delivering punchlines faster than a spell can backfire. And I have to mention the elephant in the room, the opening of Mashal, which is a freaking banger of a song, but why is Mashal Season 2 so special? Well, it's because it turns the wizarding world on its pointy hat, proving that sometimes raw muscle power can outshine the fanciest incantations. If you thought magic was all about sparkles and elegance, Mashal is here to remind you that sometimes it's about flexing your muscles and flexing your funny bone. It's the magic school comedy you didn't know you needed. Pure spellbinding hilarity. And we've got Classroom of the Elite 3. So, this anime once again takes the classic high school setting and turns it into a battle royale of teenage wit, where students fight for dominance in grades, popularity, and probably the last piece of pizza in the cafeteria. Our protagonist is the Sherlock Holmes of high school, solving academic mysteries with the same enthusiasm most kids reserve for TikTok challenges. 
In this season, our main character is like a teenage James Bond navigating the treacherous worlds of exams. That and social hierarchy. The plot unfolds with more twists than a pretzel factory, keeping you guessing about who's outsmarting whom. It's like a chess match, but instead of kings and queens, we have teenagers with attitude problems. The show has more mind games than a poker night with sidekicks, and this anime is like a survival guide for high school, teaching you that the real world has more schemes than a soap opera. It's so good that even the characters in other anime probably wish they went to this school. So if you're ready for a high school experience more intense than a caffeinated prom queen, Classroom of the Elite 3 is your backstage pass to teenage drama, strategy, and the occasional lunchtime showdown. Up next, we have A Sign of Affection. This anime signs itself into the romance genre with a plot as sweet as a love letter and more awkward moments than a first date. Our heroine is on a journey of love and communication, but she's about as smooth as a penguin on roller skates. The plot revolves around our girl, a university student who is hearing impaired, and her attempts to bridge the gap with a crush who doesn't speak sign language. It's a love story that unfolds with the grace of a romantic ballet if the ballerina were wearing clown shoes. This anime is the best in its genre because it doesn't just tug at your heartstrings, it plays them like a guitar in a love ballad. The humor is as endearing as the main character's attempts at flirting, and the sincerity of the emotions will have you rooting for the couple like a cheerleader at a championship game. If you're looking for a romance that feels like a warm hug and a facepalm at the same time, a sign of affection is your ticket to heartwarming hilarity. Up next, we have Kingdom Season 5. So this season of the long-running series storms back onto the battlefield with more epic battles, political intrigue, and hairstyles that defy the laws of gravity itself. The plot follows our fearless hero as he continues his quest for greatness in China's warring states period. It's like watching Game of Thrones, but with fewer dragons and more epic mustaches. In this season, the main character faces a bigger challenge than a samurai at a barbershop, navigating through war-torn lands with the grace of a cat on a hot tin roof. The battles are so intense that even the horses need a spa day after each episode. Now, what is so great about this anime? Because Kingdom seamlessly blends historical drama with jaw-dropping action proving that a well-executed battle plan is as satisfying as a perfectly cooked bowl of ramen. The show's intensity is as relentless as the main character's quest for glory, making it a must-watch for fans of epic tales and gravity-defying hairstyles. If you're ready for a historical roller coaster, Kingdom Season 5 is your ticket to war-torn hilarity. Then we have the second last anime on our list, The Dangers in My Heart Season 2. So this show continues the hilarious misadventures of our main character, the guy whose love life is more tangled than a plate of spaghetti at an octopus party. In this romantic comedy, the main character's attempt to navigate the perilous waters of relationships is like watching a cat try to ballroom dance. Entertaining and a little awkward. The plot revolves around the main character's attempts to confess his feelings while dodging the romantic landmines in his path. It's a love story with more twists and turns than a roller coaster designed by Cupid himself. As for the humor, it is as sharp as Cupid's arrows, with witty dialogue and situations that will leave you laughing harder than a love-struck hyena. If you want a romantic comedy that's heartwarming and side-splitting, this anime is a must-watch capturing the essence of love and laughter in equal measure. And finally, we have one of the most hyped anime of the season, and probably the whole year. It is Solo Leveling the anime equivalent of giving your gaming character cheat codes and watching them go from noob to boss level faster than you could say respawn. Meet the main character, our protagonist who starts as the least threatening E-rank hunter but quickly becomes the most overpowered sensation of the monster hunting world. The plot is a roller coaster of leveling up, facing increasingly bizarre monsters, and the main character making facial expressions that go from wait, what, to oh. I got this. Imagine if your morning coffee came with a side of leveling up, and that's pretty much the premise. The show does a stellar job of turning mundane tasks into epic adventures. I've never seen someone clear a dungeon with so much style before. Forget Isekai Quartet, this is Isekai Solo, where one man's journey to become the ultimate hunter involves less group therapy and more solo dance-offs with a monster. The humor in solo leveling is as on point as the main character's sword skills, and the monsters are so bizarre. It's like they rated the reject pile of a creature design contest. 
The anime knows it's in the isekai genre, but instead of sending the hero to another world, it brings the world's chaos to him. It's like the universe just said, let's see how much chaos one dude can handle. And the main character replied with, okay, challenge accepted. So if you're looking for an isekai with more solo shenanigans than a one-man band, buckle up for the absurdly entertaining ride. That is solo leveling. And that's it for today, guys. Be sure to comment down what your favorite anime from this season is. And also, don't forget to like and share this video and smash that subscribe button, just like how Sukuna smashes Yuji. And as for now, I'll catch you later. See you in the next one.